So if you unmute the microphone first, Angela, mm, that right. will help a lot. We're also going to make sure that we don't unmute things that aren't supposed to be unmuted. Oh, apologies. I'm sorry. I didn't. So really... hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. She was talking to me. I didn't hear any clicking. I'm like, she didn't unmute. I didn't. I didn't unmute anything. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Starfield. It's a classic hobby night stream where I have forgotten to unmute myself because I'm brilliant. I'm also just very excited because we have Starfield to play today. I went ahead and I bought the premium collector whatever edition that gets you the slight few days early access. And I figured, you know what? Why not jump into it and see what exactly Bethesda has given us this time? I am a massive fan of the Elder Scrolls franchise. I do also very much enjoy Fallout, but I was always like, when it comes to Bethesda, my jam is Elder Scrolls. And this is supposedly, supposed to be kind of Skyrim in space. So I'm optimistic. Now I know I have seen, I have seen and a couple people playing this. A couple of YouTubers and stuff obviously got early access for review purposes. And I have watched a little bit about it. and. That's actually one of the reasons I'm pretty optimistic about this, because Chaos Goldus can tell you, the entire time leading up to this game, I was incredibly pessimistic about it, because I, I honestly, I just wanted to really have very low expectations so that when I went into it, I'd be happy, because Fallout 76 was such a disappointment, major, major disappointment for me. So I'm hoping that this is really good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, find my mouse. There we go. We're in. Let's go ahead. All right, so I've got rules already for this game, apparently. <laughs> um, number one rule of playing the game. Do not fall off the cliff right at the very start of the game. Honestly, it's embarrassing. All right, well, I will try not to fall off the cliff at the very beginning. Um, all right, let's jump into this. Are, are you all ready? Are you all ready? All right, let's do it. I would like to start a new game, please. Space, the final frontier. I do like their logo, I will admit. It's very, very nice. Soul date, May 7, 2330. Argos Extraction, Mining Outpost, Moon of Vectera. Is this me? Can I move around? I can't move around yet at all. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. No, we're PC you gamer here. Last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple rule? Listen, Alain. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Totally. It's just like, um, now work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Exciting. Thank you. Do you think we'll have any yeah, accidental dismemberments fine. today? Will I lose an saw. arm? And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see that. The fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300. Oh, I have nobody. Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for. I cannot walk yet, unfortunately. Hell, after this, we'll have enough junk fuel to bounce from one. I mean, we might end up spending a good amount of time on making a character that looks like me. Sorry, I'm not watching them. I move my camera. <laughs> we might end up doing that. Authorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. I'm not gonna spend you too know, much time on it though, like make it it's far. I have a good as long as she's got you. purple hair. Now, pretty much we're good. <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. They're charming. They're either going to die or we're not going to see them along. I wonder actually if you can come back to like this mine. Cause I assume okay. we're since we're not. See what we've got. Can I? How are we on time? A little longer. Grab some samples. Always, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. 
Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. All right. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, I can tell. There's a lot of haze. God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. I don't think there's anything there, bro. Yeah, Benning. Stop taking breaks. You'll get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. I can't, I cannot promise, Mercarion, that we're not going to have any disintegrations. I, I don't even know if we have any disintegration guns in this game. I hope so. I don't actually know, like, what the range of guns and weaponry that we're going to be able to get are. Is this mine? Is this mine? Can I have this one? <gasps> I took Dusty, it. you're up. Take that cutter you grabbed and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. All right. Very well. I am the miner, much like the children, I yearn for the mines. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost walked into your laser beam. Or did somebody just laser beam me? Alright. Firing seems fine. This feels very reminiscent of when I played No Man's Sky. I'm not gonna lie. What's up, Jonathan? Nothing much. I'm just playing a little bit of Starfield. Wow, fuck you, man. Just trying to get through my shift. Sure, miner. You don't even have a name. They're ready for us. Get back up here. Nope. Okay. Hup two, hup two, hup two. I'm running. It's time. You're with me. Okay. Where am I going? Am I to be sacrificed? Is that why you brought me down here? Am I going deep into the caves? Am I gonna be trapped? Are you about to trap me in here? I don't like that. Dude, this is cool though. This looks amazing. Okay, fine. I was. This looks dangerous. You consider a spike in gravity readings a problem? I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Huh. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. It's kind of beautiful. Like they did a great job. Like, this looks better than any cave I've ever been in in, uh, in Skyrim, for sure. <laughs> I will give him that. Ah, yes, we're gonna have dismembering instead of disintegration, you're right. Everything is just... Well, in, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Do I have a light? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go do my job then, I guess. Goodbye. Can I mine this stuff? Evidently not. Oh. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do I have a light? Do I have a light? Cuz it's dark. And I'm scared. <laughs> Ember, protect me. I have no idea if there's gonna be like monsters or anything. Hello. Do you see anything? 
Uh, yeah, there's, um, there's some shiny stuff. And it's floating? Is that normal? Is this rock supposed to be floaty? F? <gasps> oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, we're gonna go look back through this beautiful cave. Alright, it's lovely. Now, let's go towards this floaty rock stuff. Um, I guess I'll mine it? Huh. Huh, that doesn't look like nor- that doesn't look normal. Well, it wants me to take it, so I'm gonna take it. We're gonna touch the beautiful artifact. Oh, and I am seeing a vision. Is it a star map to another galaxy? Because that's what it felt like. Ooh, am I about to do character creation? Is that what we're about to do? I've taken my helmet off, so... Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Vaguely. Those vaguely sound like bells that are ringing. <gasps> All right. I mean, this is a fairly good starting point, honestly. What do we got for... Oh my gosh, there's so many pre-built pre options. All right, we're just going to find a really good base to work off of, and then we'll just tweak it a little bit. That's really the plan. I'm not going to spend... I'm going to spend some time on this, but I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of time on it. These are some glorious faces. I think that's an okay base for me. I can't rotate. Mouse two. Aha! All right, there we go. Now I can rotate. Yeah, I think that kind of looks like my nose. I'm gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with this and we're gonna adjust things. Um, nope, we're gonna be female. Do I want to have a very wide walking stance or a more narrow? I, I walk more narrow. Um, skin tones. I am a pale mother trucker. Yeah, I'm definitely not that dark skinned. All right. We're just going to go as wide as humanly possible. Um, I am muscular thin. Like that, that looks, that looks kind of like me. Build my face. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, don't worry. We're getting there. We got to, we got to, we got to deal with the basics of the body type first. Um, what is this? Okay. That's just my like basic. All right. Oh boy. Head shapes. Skin tone I think is good. Mm, I don't think my head's that narrow. I kind of have a broad forehead, so we'll do that. Okay, hair is the main thing. Can I have long hair? My bet is no. Oh my god, there's so many things to play around with. Yes! <laughs> Uh, no, that will not be it. Okay, so the longest hair we seem to be able to have is a bob. Um, like, this seems to be the longest. Is there one, like, a do? Why am I so zoomed in? Can I... Can I zoom out? Aha! Okay, thank you. They're not gonna let me have, like... So disappointing. Yeah, because like I can have longer hair, but it has to be up. Which is super annoying. I just want long, luxurious hair in a video game sometimes. Come on. Alright, well I think in that case, I kind of like... I 
I kind of like this. Or I could look like a sister. I could just make a sister. Sister battle version of me. I don't know. I kind of like this one. I think we might go with this one. Hello, Star IGE player. Star Siege. I can read. I can actually read. Words are hard, okay? It's one, it's big. Shout out to the Star Siege. Shout out to Star Siege. I uh, liked it better than Earth Siege. There you go. There and, you and go. And Drives was fine. Like, uh -huh. as, a, as a concept, I just wish they hadn't gotten rid of the mechs. You know what? Reasonable. Mechs are very, very cool. I also look forward to when the me the mods end up coming out for this, and then we can have all of the hair, and I'll have to completely restart. I'm going to have to restart anyways, because I'm actually playing this on Chaos Cultist PC right now, because we've only bought the one copy, and they won't let us Steam share it right now. Silly. Uh, but I think this is what we're going to go with. And can I have purple? The question is... Pink. Yellow. Are you fucking kidding me? They give you like sea, like teal green hair, blue. Hair. Is this a post? There's like purple in her in her scalp. We just we might go with pink then. We might just have to go with pink. I can't believe they don't have purple. I think this is supposed to be purple. And it's bullshit. Because, like, see the purple in there? But then when you go to this other blue that looks almost identical, there's less of it. I'd go the 21. The pink? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. All right. Eyes, though. Oh, this is changing the shape of my eyes. Oh, shit. Um, well, I think I think that because I kind of you can definitely see the lids of my eyes. I think, yeah, I'm going to go with that eye color. Yes, I need a green. I do like that you can just have these like wild red eyes though. That is pretty rad. Um, but I think we're gonna go with. Let's see, is that more? I think yeah. That's that's pretty close to like because I kind of have like hazel green eyes. I need angry eyebrows. I have angry, sad looking eyebrows. That's pretty good. Eight's pretty good. Ooh, I do like that one too though. Definitely not. Way too manicured. All right, I like that one. They're kind of grumpy. That's me. Oh, 40k mods would be really cool in this, actually. Alright, we're gonna make our eyebrows the same color as our hair. I'm not gonna bother with changing the forehead. I feel like it's fine. My nose, I feel like, is fine. My ears are fine. I don't care about my cheeks. I feel like my mouth looks fine. Oh, God. I don't like that I moused over teeth and then it exposes my teeth. Why would I want to... Interesting. Oh, God. Okay, let's... I'm just gonna... We're gonna have nice whitish teeth, okay? We're just gonna... We're just gonna do that. That's That's great. Um, I feel great about everything else. Jewelry color? I'm not even wearing jewelry. Oh, now I can be. I see. Well, I don't have any jewelry, really, so we're not gonna do that. Uh... Derma aesthetic? Is that my skin? I see. You know what? I'm definitely not that smooth. Oh, I'll just go with the default. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have any... Let's see what Scar's options do. Oh my god, they can be so dramatic. They're really intense. 
I could have been clawed by a wolverine. I don't know where that one went. I don't like the one on the mouth. Oh. I could have had my lips sewn shut. She needs fangs? I agree. I don't think you can. You can just you can just change the, the color of the teeth. You can't give me pointy teeth. That's a missed opportunity, Bethesda. How dare. Um, oh, I could have the Joker, the Joker scar. Lovely. That one's kind of cool. I, I mean, I do, I do like, I do kind of like the eyebrow scar. It makes you look like a badass. Um, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do that one. Uh, facial forms? What? What is this? Oh, okay, those are bags under your eyes. Are these, like, your pores? Crow's eyes, maybe? I don't know what that's changing. I don't need any cheat. Oh, it's blush. Okay. Why do they give you cheeks one and two? Why would you why would you put different blush on? You know what? Maybe it's meant to be like if you've got like redness on your face or something, you can control if you've got it on one side more than the other. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not actually blush. Because it says cheeks, not blush. Lipstick base. Yeah, I just kind of like the lips being a little bit more defined, so that's fine. Lipstick accents. Oh, I can give myself hard lines. Interesting. Um, and then I feel like they stopped changing, really. That's cool. I think we're fine. Um, I don't really want to do that. I see. No, thank you. Eyeliner. Yes, I do want some eyeliner, though. Is it? Oh, it's in pink for some reason. Fascinating. Can I just do black? I've never tried doing this shape, actually, when doing makeup. I wonder how long it would be. You're gonna try something? I will- fine, AR. I will ignore you then. Um... Okay, hold on. Alright, now that I can actually see what is changing, I like... That one. But I would like the color to just... Be black, please? Is that black? Are we on? Okay, we're on black now. That looks good. I like that. Now lower. Okay, it starts on a pink. There we go. Okay. Now let's continue to see what they're doing. Fancy. I like that one. I think that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and up the intensity a bit. Please. Maybe. There we go. Uh, dirt. We have no dirt on us. We're pristine. Uh, background. All right. This is actually where things start to get interesting. I am happy with that character. I think she looks fine. I'm severely disappointed by the lack of long hair and purple hair options. What a ripoff. But... We have a lot of different options for what our background can be, and I've looked through these a little bit. We're going to go over and look through all of them. So there's Beast Hunter, which gives you some starting skills in fitness, ballistics, gastronomy. Interesting. I do love that gastronomy, like a cooking mechanic, is a thing. And I do, I do think I'm leaning towards picking one that maybe has gastronomy in there, because I, I kind of want to explore that. But let's see. Nice, Mark. I'm really glad that you're enjoying it so far. A little bit of a bewildering start? All right, interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Um, bouncer, boxing, security, fitness, bounty hunter, piloting, targeting control system, and boost pack training, which is, does sound cool. I will admit that could be like we could go very Sabine Wren here and go like bounty hunter. Um, I do like the idea of chef, just being a straight up chef with getting a uh, scavenging, dueling, and gastronomy. Like, that's pretty cool. I do like 
multi like wielding dual weapons so that is kind of neat uh combat medic would be cool just to keep myself alive i'm not leaning towards doing cyber runner or cyberneticist right now i don't really want to go to cyberpunk with this i want to keep it a little bit more space explorer and i think so i'm gonna avoid those two i do always love the idea of diplomat though i do like being charismatic in my games so this is a, a, a up there in contender Explorers, interesting. Not really feeling gangster. I don't really want to... I'm not planning on doing a lot of, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Homesteader. Geology, surveying, and weightlifting, huh? Interesting. Industrialist, persuasion security, research methods, long hauler, weightlifting, piloting, and ballistic weapons. Scavenging, surveying, and gastronomy. Oh, Pilgrim does sound interesting. Wayfarer, wanderer, seeker, transient. You've been called many things during your travels and learned some of those... Something something those others could never understand. The journey is the destination. I do like that idea. The professor. Astrodynamics, geology, research methods. Ronin. Hmm... This is interesting. Okay, right now. <laughs> Dim, I am the same way. I actually just restarted. Um, so Chaos Cultist and I have our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that we're doing cooperatively. But I did just start my own Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that I'm doing solo. Um, and I am playing a bard and I because I wanted to go pure like charisma and i'm just constantly playing instruments it's really funny like in combat it's great um so i completely get that of being able to be something that you're not um okay so i'm leaning towards either ronin pilgrim because i am i am like when i play bethesda games i am a scavenger like i, I pick up shit like no other i have had some warnings about um some things not being just worth picking up unless they're worth like a thousand gold unless they specifically say they're for crafting food or something like that so we'll probably be a little bit picky about what we're picking up just because i'm worried about encumbrance problems i have heard that people get over encumbered really quickly in this game um okay I just don't know if I'm going to be dueling, like, if I'm going to be melee that much, though. I tend to play ranged more often. But I really want this. I think we're going to go, I think I'm going to go with Pilgrim. I'm going to go with scavenging so that I can find more shit. I feel like being able to decipher data will be good, especially considering it, this feels like it's already feeling a bit um, Mass Effect in regards to we found an alien artifact, got a vision, and I suspect considering I know from the trailers that there's that like research organization that comes and finds us, I assume that's about to happen. Um, and then I do want to fucking cook, so... <sighs> but should I have something in combat? I could, I could go Beast Hunter. Because then I would get a bonus in Ballistics. I'm just not super sold on the fitness. Because I assume that's going to give me bonuses in Athletics. Let her cook. I'm definitely going to cook. I do like, I mean, Pilgrim is the other one that I'm leaning towards. So I think right now I'm, I'm definitively between Pilgrim and actually Beast Hunter. Because Beast Hunter still gives me the gastronomy, but it gives me ballistics, which I do feel like I'm going to end up being more of a gun person in this game than I am going to be. But then I also am sitting there thinking, I'm like, well, I could also just bump all of my non-combat skills and just start putting my initial levels into combat. 
I think I'm going, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with Pilgrim. All right, let's pick our traits. Um, all right. What do these do? I've actually not seen much about the traits. Alien DNA, you volunteered for controversial experiment. You start with increased health and oxygen. Okay. <laughs> you own a luxury customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a $125,000 or thousand credit mortgage to Gal Bank that has to be paid weekly. Oh my god. Okay, that's not going to be for this playthrough, but that's absolutely... I'm doing that at some point. I love... It's like they... <laughs> They put, um, oh my god, what is, what is that Nintendo game that I'm blanking on the name of, um, with Nook? Uh, Animal Crossing. They put Animal Crossing into this game <laughs> with the dream house. That's hilarious. Um, okay, let's see. Empath, performing actions, your companion's life will resort in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. Okay, I don't... How often are you getting companions, though? I mean, it's Bethesda, so you can often get companions in this game, but I'm curious how many there actually will be. Extrovert, let's see. You're a people person expressing yourself... Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Okay. I have a harder time breathing... When I'm alone? That's weird. You gain access to the free star collective dialogue options and better rewards for some missions given by the faction. But crime bounties towards other factions is greatly increased. Okay. Interesting. Hero worship. Oh, this gets you the adoring fan, which is classic from, um, from the Elder Scrolls because Elder Scrolls is best. I do not want that, though. I, I have that's why that's why we're streaming it I have you guys for that you know uh, Pezzler I'm not actually sure if it does allow you to select like you get to select some traits but I don't know about the skills specifically Sometimes, I mean, the, the the companions could be useful, Sean. We don't know yet. We haven't met any of them. I have no, I know nothing about any of the companions in this game yet. All right, introvert. Um, this is one where you use less oxygen when you're adventuring alone. Kids stuff. Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. Fuck that, no. Um, you grew up on the mean streets of Neon, you gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards. Okay, so this is the Neon group. Raised Enlightened. Oh, okay, so this is also... And is this the other one? I see. So these ones are two religious-based ones. You grew up worshipping the Great Serpent. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. Like an addiction. Fascinating. Space. You've become so acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when it's on the surface. Taskmaster. Occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health. Whenever it is damaged below 50. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Rough. I do, I do eventually want to get crew. So I don't think I want to like do anything that necessarily makes that more expensive. Uh, let's see. Terra firma. Cannot be combined with space. You never, oh, I'm sorry. You never acclimated to space. I see. United Colonies Native. Interesting. So I get to pick three of these, huh? So I wonder which... I wonder which thing is better. The Sanctum Universe... Or the enlightened one. 
I don't want to do this. This sounds challenging. I want to do, I think I want to do one of the religious ones because I want to get access to the, the stuff. Okay. I don't have to choose any if I don't want to. I feel like I want to get some access to some fancy things though. You want me to go introverted with kids stuff? <laughs> I don't want to send two credit, two percent of my credits. I mean, I guess how, 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 how many credits am I getting? Am I getting a lot of credits? Like is 2% not going to feel like anything? Okay, I'm going to do Empath, because I like the idea of, like, if I do have companions, it'll it'll boost them. Ah, but if I do something they don't like, it'll be, they'll be get real pissy. I'm really tempted to do the dream home. <laughs> um. Ah, okay, healing and food aren't as, 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 as effective if I take the alien DNA. Interesting. Maybe I won't take any of them. Does it get weird? Wait until I have to start picking locks too. Interesting. Okay, I'm so nervous. All right, we're going to do kids stuff. Let's let's have parents. You know, how many and how many games do we play where we don't have parents? Um so I'll 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 have a, I'll have parents. I'm really tempted to find out what one of these like tests is though. I don't know anything about these factions though, so I'm I'm hesitant to choose anything based on that. You know what? I'm just going to do the kids stuff. That's all I'm going to uh, that's all I'm going to choose. I really want to, I really want to know what's in those chests. I don't want to, I don't. Mm. Really? That's funny. This is, mine is not. I don't think mine's going to end up looking like my real life parents at all. Um, mostly because like, while she is kind of looks like me, she doesn't really look, I mean, I guess kind of, but I just, I don't expect, I just don't expect it to look like my parents. Um, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, I really, raised universal. They've, t they've, they've tricked me by saying a special chest full of items. They have me stuck on this because of, like... Because they say that I can get access to the special chest. <sighs> Alright, I'm not I'm, I'm. we're just, we're gonna... You know what, this isn't even gonna be my full playthrough because this is not on my computer. So, you know what, we're gonna do kid stuff. We're gonna do... <sighs> okay, we're just gonna do kid stuff. That's all we're gonna do. Oh, I'm so nervous to do this. I, mm, okay. Art. All right. Angela. <laughs> All righty. Let's. Let's go. Um. All right. Let's name my character and get, oh. And then confirm for R. Sorry. There we go. I forgot you listed Pilgrim on your application. Don't see many people on spiritual journeys in this line of work. I and like the communing with the rocks. I'm secretly a dwarf. We all get paid. 
You remember anything that happened? That's what I've not told anybody. I'm actually just secretly a dwarf. Um, there was this light and like music. It was incredible. A dream or a vision. Everything's a blank. Everything's blank after I went into that tunnel. What is that thing? Um, I mean, it was like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll we literally just talked about how I'm a pilgrim. I am meant to have experiences. All this cooking ones. Stupid thing. I'm gonna make delicious cuisine and I'm gonna blow everybody's mind like in Food Wars. Like it's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. Will be. Speak of the devil. All right. Hey, you all right? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while. I seem to be fine. A constellation contact is on approach. All right, let's start looting. Oh. I took that med pack. Kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with constellations. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. Do I already have one of these? You don't look good. Wow, excuse you! I look fine, thank you! Um, do I have one of these already? I, let me check my inventory. <gasps> okay, this is interesting. Okay, I do have a deep space mining suit on. Excellent. It's at 69 durability. Nice. Uh, Jonathan, yes, I am playing this on PC. All right, so I already have one of the... Ooh. Escape. All right, I have a mile. I have. Do I have a? Okay, I do have a helmet, but I don't have it on right now. That's fine. Oh my god, look at me! I'm so cute. I'm adorable. All right, uh, I have some aid. What are my resources? Oh, I picked up some. Berlium, berlium, is that how that's pronounced? I don't actually know. All right. Um, what have I got for aid? I did pick up that med pack. So sick. Got my cutter. All right. Excellent. So I guess I probably shouldn't pick that up then. I won't steal that person's spacesuit. Even though I really want to. Okay, so none of these say, like, this vacuum tape, for example, doesn't say that it's meant for crafting. So I'm assuming it's fine. What is that? I think I stole that person's credits, but no one seems to care, so I'm gonna uh, accept that I am allowed to take that. Wait, is that? Okay, no, it's still just vacuum tape. Yeah, alright. You need some coffee or something? No. I got a packet around here somewhere. I mean, that's very kind of you, but no, I am just, uh, I'm just hanging out. I'm just looking around. I'm just poking my head at things. I'm stealing all of your shit. Like, these credits. Thank you. All right, so I don't need to pick up. Ooh. Common manufacturing component. This component can be used in crafting. <gasps> Understood. Okay, I'm taking all the credits. All of the money is mine. Staple gun. Okay, that's the first thing that I've seen that actually has stuff that I can use. Okay, that makes sense. I assumed they probably would be, as that is fairly classic in Bethesda games, but um, oh, since I hadn't seen worried. anything yet, and I'm kind of surprised that they're just letting me take all of their money. I'm gonna take this. Is this bucket? I can't pick up that bucket. Ooh. Supervisor's log. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argus Extractor's Victoria dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us. 18 hours, including the elevator. Yeah, that's so weird considering that in other Bethesda games they definitely are crafting items. Again. The crew 
always good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. He just can't train away stupid. But she's got a dog. Oh, that makes sense also that it would be less theft because we're in the tutorial. She gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. I'm the dusty. I'm the promising dusty. All right. Let's uh, leave that and anything it's been else? A good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Well, thank you, my dear. I agree. I'm going to become the chosen one. Unlike you losers. All right. Excuse me. I have important main character business to do over this way. That's terrifying. I don't like that. Hello? When you pick up an audio log that starts playing, yeah. you can close it. It keeps playing. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was going to. Yeah. Just like you know. Cool, thank you. How they suck are you to join? Well for the fancy pamphlets. They convinced me to buy the game. Oh god, I ran into the wall. I'm an I'm a fool. A foam cup. How delightful. I will take that, thank you. We're off it's time. bitten, though. Why would I want this? I know it would restore my health, but, like, it's already been- This man has taken a bite out of the sandwich. Not interested. Whatever it is. Well, fine. Fuck you. I don't- I don't care. I'm not interested in you either. Inspection soon. Get it together, people. A reminder, clean your space suits after each use. If you feel sick, please report to the med staff immediately. Dear management, the AC is drafty and some people smell. Please fix. Anonymous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, sir. I am trying to just like look at your beautiful cards, okay? A desk globe, huh? Fancy. Hello, friends. I'm here now. Where are we going? Right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. No. What if I refuse? We just never continue. All right. I think it's equipped now. Press and hold tab to exit. Alright, I've equipped my helmet. Allow me to fall in line. Oh, it's a dusty yellow planet. Dun 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 dun, beautiful. I mean, it's actually kind of... It is very yellow. Everything is very white yellow. This is cool, though. It does look epic. Hi. Are you all just named Miner? I'm just gonna take that weapon, you know, for funsies. Excuse me, I'm gonna- you guys are gonna have to wait for me. I have loot to collect. And there ain't nothing that is stopping me. This looks just like the other thing that I picked up that was actually for crafting items, but it's not. That is annoying. Oh, it was a- <gasps> Oh. Can I take any of the chargers? No, apparently not. Fine. I don't really think I need a second cutter. What is this? A ratchet? Worth nothing. Anything over here worth stealing? I don't know if they're going to make me leave immediately. So in fear of that happening, I'm exploring the area first. I also don't know if I'll have access to this planet again. Yeah, well, considering it's a Bethesda game, it makes sense. They're probably going to, to be iterative of their Fallout games. Ooh. Common manufacturing component. Okay. It's kind of weird that it's just laying out here randomly, but I'll take it. I'll clean up after these slobs. I'm kidding. They're actually very great people. Also, I think that's my ship. 
my soon to be ship that I will I am terrified to fly <laughs> I am I am not good with space flying <laughs> so I'm actually quite nervous to uh to to do that I want to boo, 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 boo. I want to actually bring up my inventory because I would like to attach my gun thank you <gasps> Didn't mean to fire that, but okay, it works. I meant to aim and I hit the wrong button. Uh, can I put my gun away? I would like to lower my gun now. How do I... R? That's my reload. Makes sense. Um, T? Uh, I'm just hitting buttons. Oh god, okay, that's that is attack with my fist. That's my map. Beautiful. Okay, that makes sense. Oh boy. Alright, that's the planet we're on. Lovely. It's got some water, some nickel, some argon, aluminum, and some benazine. Holy shit. Okay. Is that our planet? What? This is a big game. Holy shit, I can keep going. Oh, there's Soul. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Just look Look at how many... Holy shit, this is a huge game. Uh, okay, let's just please go back. Thank you. How do I lower my gun? Somebody tell me how to lower my gun. Hey. Yes? Busy. Oh, thank goodness I lowered it. Okay. If I just looked at somebody, that helped. Um, okay, friends. I am now coming to hang out with you and check out this cool ship. Hello! I'll wait here, I guess. Ah, thank you! Apparently holding R does it. Damn Sir. It. Man. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. Hi, robot friend. I want to be your friend. Praise the machine spirit. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Yeah. Right here. The new girl found it. That's me! I am the new girl. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? I would pronounce. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Nonsense. Absolute right? blithering. Went on a trip, huh? Yeah. Through space and time. You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits. Have you? And I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you ever again. Wow. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Oh, no. I really thought I'd lost them. What? Barrett? All right. How do I crouch? Okay, now I'm crouched. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the robot's blocking me. Alright, well, let's uncrouch then. Alright, got one. Oop. Pirate! Alright, let's... Oh god, that pirate's on fire! Alright, that guy is dead. Oh god, that one's- the fire- the one that was on fire did not die, actually. Uh, oh my god! Holy shit! What the fuck?! Why did he do that?! <laughs> uh, 
if I hit that, will that explode? It will. Okay, excellent. Good to know. Where is my friend? Where is the pirate? Hello? Pirate, where are you? All right, well, I took a bit, of, a bit of damage there, but I also nailed one of them in the head. There we go, got it. Yeah. Oh, I could become the pirate queen. Oh, I think we, oh, I think that's what happened is we hit his jet pack. You did, yes. Got it, sick. Do you prefer third person over first person? I actually prefer the first person. I don't know why I went into third person. Okay. That was an accident. I think that was me panicking. You've been in it for a while, so I'm scared. Yeah, no, I, I I just scrolled out because I hit the wrong button. Are we done? Are we still fighting someone? Where are we fighting? Ah. Okay, that is so much better. Oh. Alright, that pirate's dead. Any more? Taking their shit. I don't know what a maelstrom is, but I'm taking it. It's a cutter, I don't need that. Alright, I'm gonna go loot all of the bodies before I talk to anybody. Is are these I guess are these worth taking? Hold on, let's see. How much is this worth? Value. Okay. Over a thousand. How heavy is it? 4.1? I guess that's not too bad, right? Here are all your pizza bites. <gasps> oh my gosh! You are the bestest! Thank you so much! Pizza bite delivery! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. I can tell that they're scalding. Oh, that is so awesome, though. Thank you! Okay. I am definitely gonna loot the pirates. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm absolutely looting- Ooh. How do I take all? Space trucker flannel? Hell yeah! I can't wait to have an extensive- Extensive, uh- I, I can. Can I loot my friends also? Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. I mean, she's a badass. Hopefully she didn't die. I didn't actually see if she died or not. Oh my god, these these smell so good. These pizza bites that he brought me smell so freaking good. Um, alright, I think I've now looted everybody's body. That bucket keeps throwing me off. I keep thinking it's something I can pick up. You're alive. Okay, you're all fine. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Every time? Well, maybe you should stop working with him if, he follow if this happens every single time. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? Mm. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what Please tell me what there? constellation is first. Oh, that's us. That's where we go. That doesn't actually answer the goddamn question. Okay, my character does she care more about the artifact? We're getting off the moon. I don't really think she cares about the artifact. We want to cook. So yeah, just get me off this moon. I was never meant to be a miner. I was meant to be not a chef. But somebody who makes delicious food and blows people's minds with it. All right. Wrong with honest work. Although, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. No. Do you think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. 
I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What about the mine? Don't you need me? Okay, um... Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. I don't mind being nice well, to her. She was kind to me. None of that settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. Lord Novus, you can you have to get the premium edition in order to play it right now. Otherwise, you'll want to wait a couple more days if you just want to get the standard edition. That's the only reason I'm able to play it right now. It's because I bought the premium edition, which was a hefty hundred dollar price tag. Um Oh, thank you. A watch. Lovely. What I've always wanted. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Is this watch supposed to be my pit boy? Because if it is, that's so lame in comparison. <laughs> um. So, why so me? Shouldn't you go? Like, isn't this something Come you should on. be doing? You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. So let me get this straight. I touched this artifact. You knew about it. Flew down here. And we're like, I'm just going to give you this ship. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. You keep what? saying this organization. Oh, but you said something. Wow, I was speaking, Barrett, but you fucking interrupted me. Um, the point is, Barrett, who are you and what is Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Okay, so what exactly did we actually dig up? You that just keep referring to it as a million credit question. artifact. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. And so why is the Crimson Fleet after They're you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. I see. Alright, well, that exhausts and my... Go. Don't let her break my ship! <laughs> Oh my god, look at him run! That is delightful! Hi, Vasco! It Hi, friend! You are the new captain of the frontier. Yes, you clunky, clunky bastard. I love you. Look how cute you are. I want an army of robots. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure I've looted everything. I'm just gonna do a quick run around. Oh, I, I have a big jump. I don't remember coming over here. So we'll let Vosco go to the ship. He'll prep it. He'll get it turned on. He'll get the engines all warmed up for us. We'll take a nice bath and then we'll head on our way. Because we're very dusty. They keep referring to us as dusty and clearly I need a bath. Alright, there was nothing over there. Very disappointing. Is that a thing I... Nope, that's not a thing I can do, do anything with. Alright, I've got everything from my first aid kit. I got my weapons. Let's get the F out of here! I thought this panel was something I could touch because they have a pathway specifically to it. Alright. Enough dilly-dallying. Come on, Vosco. Alright. 
All right. Oh, my shit. Captain Angela, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Okay, I legitimately did not expect it to say my name. That was cool. That was cool. I knew, I knew, um, Fallout has had that, I think that technology in the past, or something in Bethesda has done it in the past, but I, I just, that was fucking cool. Hmm. It's in Fallout 4 with Cogsworth. That's what it was. That's really cool, though. That's fine. I'm just gonna steal all your meals. Don't care about the water pitcher. I can't open any of those. That's a pot. Kitchen steeper. Make sure to wash your hands. Can I have the type A? Do you have- wait, where is my robot friend? Because I'm pretty sure that's my robot friend, but with, like, big-ass guns, and I want that version. Does that also say Type A, or does it say Type R? God, I want them. Okay. Army of Robots! Broken Constellation Space Helmet. Take that med pack. Soil Box? Nightwear. All right, I'm not gonna pick that up right now. Old Earth Baseball, fascinating. Paper Airplane. That's a pillow. Vacuum tape. Status, tired, ZZZF, <laughs> that's cute. Chunks Cap, who's Chunks? And why does he take so many pictures of the robot? <laughs> Ooh, a research station? The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The material needed to... Sorry, the materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufacture components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Okay. Fascinating. So some of these I actually need skills for. Ooh. What? There's a zoology, right? Like, I can... Do they have blue milk? I don't know. You know what? That'd be great if they did, though. This is, there's a lot of depth to this for sure. Okay. I want to see. I have bread. I only have two though. And I don't have any red meat. So is the yellow indicating that I have some of it and I can make it? And then it's like, I don't have any of this. Got it. Okay. Interesting. So I can't really do anything with my research station yet. It doesn't seem like. I haven't really picked up too much materials. Alright, let's go in here. This is really cool. I really- I, I, I admit, I do like the ship. It's pretty rad. <laughs> um, so this is probably where, like, my crew will sit and such. Chunked apples. Take that.
So on my, I'm just wanting to make sure that I'm understanding. Okay, my health is over there. Here's my, my O2 and CO2 is on the other side. I haven't seen that gone down yet though. Where's my robot? Why is he not around for me to talk to? Robot friend? Robot friend, why are you still out here? Captain Angela, flight for being protocol apartment. indigo is in effect. I love that he says my name. It's so good. All right, let's go. Let's let's we'll we'll, we'll blast off into space, into space, into the great unknown. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Let's take off. Oh shit! Okay. This is the thing that I've been most most nervous about. I'm not gonna lie. Like, completely nervous. Is the, sp is the space anything? <laughs> like, space combat, the flying, all of it. Okay. So, that is the planet I was on. Okay. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Hold left alt and use WASDA to switch between the systems and allocate power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grab drive. I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to. So, left alt. And hit A. See how it shifts I see them. that, okay. Up and down, then takes away or gives from them. They're all, you currently, see how it puts it in the bar below? Okay. And then put back into laser. Got it. And there you go. Okay. So, for example, if you took all your power out of shields and put the lasers, your lasers will fire much faster. Got they it. No shields. Got it. Otherwise, follow the quest that they give you. Okay. Uh, use Wazda and S to increase or decrease ship speed. It wants me to increase the ship's speed. Boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. But I don't see his speed. Okay, so left shift. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, okay. Vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. All right. So it wants me to. Ooh, I didn't mean to shift. You've proven an adequate pilot. The speed gauge is the gauge labeled speed. Yes, I see that now. Oh god, why am I being attacked? Uh. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm locked on? If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Alright, do I have any more missiles? Come on! Come on! Let's kill him! Yay! Can I loot? What's that little- that, that looks like a loot button. I would recommend you actually use your laser like the game recommends. 
You will need to fly close to it before we can actually... You have a ballistic range. cannon and a laser cannon. You took that enemy out by using your ballistic cannon. You will need to use your laser cannon to disable shields in the future if you wish to survive. Oh yeah, no, I did I did actually use the lasers. Oh. I did switch over to lasers. Okay. Because I was doing this button. Or the, the, sorry, this button. Okay. I thought. Did you, I? Where's... You, you, you did once you were on pole. Oh, okay. Sorry. You take the shields out with the laser. Got it. Okay. Where Two did... More Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. God damn it. All right, let's take their shields out. All right, I think I took the shield out on that one. Oh gosh, where did they go? Where did they go? Space combat! All right, got him. Got that one. All right, good. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? It's over here. Oh, 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 oh. I see you. You trying to avoid me. Give up that loot. Come on. Where are you? There you are. There. Nope. Come here. Come here. You bitch. Oh my god. Get on my reticle. All right, lasers to get rid of the shield. All right, lasers are down. Use the missiles. Oh, and G. Yeah. Let's see. Got him. Woo! All right, I would like to actually loot these fucking things, though. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough Can to I... jeopardize our mission. Oh, okay, that's how In I do it. Got it. Got the cobalt. And will not stop. All right, they're not going to stop what coming after me. Where is the other one? Please just listen to the A scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Okay. All right, real quick. Yes. Something that's re release your fingers from the WASDA. Yeah. So one thing that's happening is because you have the ship at full acceleration, uh, it will not turn at full speed. They were trying to explain that when you couldn't find the speed indicator earlier. Got it. For the ship to have optimal uh, turning speed, yes. you need to have that line lined up with the thick white outline on the right. What line are you talking about? Like the, like the speed, like yes. this? Okay. Oh, I see. And then it needs to be lined up with that? Yeah. So see how... Like, okay. And then and then I can... Nope. Stop that. See, once it's lined up with the center, uh huh. that's what allows you to um, turn the fastest. I see. I see. Okay. But so if you're like accelerating into the turn, uh -huh. your turning speed will be basically reduced. I understand. Okay. So if you're feeling like you can't turn to catch up to the enemy, uh -huh. you might actually need to slow yourself down. Understood. Okay. That... Like, imagine trying to take a, a hairpin turn in a fast car. Right. It's very difficult, though, yes. right? Yes, it is. It's the same thing with a starship. Got it. Okay. It said to hit tab to open up the map. Well, I want to... Uh, I first want to loot. get this okay. thing, yeah, because... You can stop, you know. How do I stop? Like, I, I'm not... I didn't even know I was moving forward. Well, you had... Folks, I don't know how to make her see the speed gauge anymore. No, I, 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 I see the speed gauge, but I wasn't actually, like, pressing WASDA. I was just looking at yeah, the... It's an accelerate... It's, it's a starship, Angela. Oh, if I just... I see. You set the throttle, and then you leave it. Okay, I... So, if you, you, like, right now your speed is 8. Yes, I see that. So okay. if you hit S... S. See, it goes down. I see. Okay, well, I don't want to move. <laughs> that's that's. I just wanted yeah. to access that thing. I didn't realize I was still... That, that's why I keep drawing I... your attention to the speed gauge. Your speed gauge indicates your speed. I see. Why? Okay. I, I do... Uh, sorry. Chat, I don't know. I don't know, chat. So, what was confusing me, what was confusing me actually there, was that I had a hard time telling I was actually moving in the space. Like, I thought I was already stationary nope. because I wasn't 
on Wazder or S. So you can tell the because of the items passing you in the three D space and the speed gauge. Yes, I see that now. I was just very like I because I have not played a lot of games with space. Like I know I'm just I'm oh, trying yeah. to explain there how to is, play it. There it is. Oh. Okay, can I? I would like to access this. Okay. There we go. Yay! Okay, that's all I was trying to do. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Also, you can fire both cannons at the same time. Anyway. Oh, that's so cool and good to know. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... They told you to hit tab. Yes, tab. All right, tab. And then they told you to open up the uh, galactic map. The galactic map. All right, where is my galactic... Star map. Nope. From here, Angela. Where is my star map? Right there. Where... Nope. It says... Okay. Angela. Oh, I see it. Angela, Sorry. Pause. Yes, I am pausing. For playing this game. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to leave the room because I know I'm annoying. Please read the stuff on the UI. I was. I just wasn't seeing it all at first. That was my problem. There's a lot going on here, and this UI is honestly a little bit weird from what I'm used to, and it's throwing me off massively. All right, star map. I've got to the star map. All right. Now it wants me to go to... That's our extraction site. We've explored that. And it wanted me to go. Oh my goodness. I am very silly. I completely agree. Um, okay, but where do I need to go? Now that I'm in here though, I'm not really. <laughs> uh what is V what is show me? Landing back to system. Aha. There we go. There we go. Got it. I figured it out. So we want to go to Crete. Crete Research Lab. All right. I can't scan it. I would like to set a course to this planet, though. X to travel. Oh. Hey. Space. Okay. If I... Nope, that just fires at it. Can I... Oh, open planet map. Okay. Can I just go down there? Do I need to fly towards it? Oh, I can scan. No, I can't scan. What has happened? Oh, I've got myself into a... There we go. Sorry. I accidentally hit tab or the tilde button instead of escape. And I got myself into a... the console command. Um, R to scan. Okay. Helium. Iron. Neon. Silver. Alkanes. Argon. Lead. Okay. Its trait is unknown, though. Um, well, in that case, can I set landing target? Land at the Cree station. All right. And then do I just exit out and I'll do that now? Aha! I, I did it. X to land. Did you finally click on the thing with the icon? Yes, I, do. I thought I'd clicked on it before. I must have been slightly off because I was like right mouse clicking it. I was like, no, why is this not working? Why do I suck at games? All right, we've landed. Let's go ahead and exit our ship. 
Actually, let's just get up. Can we... Okay, you have to hold everything down. I keep just tapping the buttons once and I need to actually hold things. Alright. We did it. We've landed. We've made it to a new planet. Let's explore. It kind of looks similar to the last planet. Hi, Vasco. Angela. Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Why is the Crimson Fleet after Captain Barrett in the first I place? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him. Oh. Typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death. My goodness. Often with an object multiple people wanted. I like this robot. So who are you and Barrett and what is Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Okay. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups. Typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Okay, so very small number of people. Why is Barrett trusting you with a ship? would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Oh, he can trade things. Item exchange protocols. He's my pack mule. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Uh, please give him that back. Uh, uh, um, shit. What did I take from him? All right, I've got my... Oh, okay, this is what I took from him. We'll go ahead and... Oh, I have 50. Oh, I just took a cartridge from him. Okay, well. Can I give it. Did I take his ammo? I think I gave it back to him. All right, I think I I think I gave back to him what I took. I think I just took his ammo, and I don't want him to not have ammo. I need him to help me. Um, okay, so we are now on a planet. I would like to switch my guns back to... This. Um, I'm going to leave my deep space suit on, because I don't know if this is good, breathable air. And come on. That looks like a giant space strawberry. Can I... Wait. I saw something. I... S oh, 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 oh. Yes. Did I... Har I harvested it! Yes, it is a space strawberry! Where is my space strawberry? Oh, I do at least have my artifact. That's nice. Is it an aid? 
chocolate bits, gummy bugs, bread, plenty of med packs. Oh, I have 13 med packs. That's great. Oh, I have some ramen and some chicken and some vodka. Why does it have a sippy straw? Why does this vodka have a sippy straw? Like a bendy sippy straw? This is not for children. I would I would drink this. I would drink I would drink vodka out of a sippy straw. I'm just I'm just saying. Um all right. Oh, 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 oh. I actually just noticed there's a new item. Did you just say you would drink vodka out of a fucking Yeah, if juice? I got a juice box that was just vodka, I would absolutely, I would be trash and I would absolutely <laughs> drink that. I would absolutely, are you kidding me? That'd be hilarious. You are absolute trash. I am. I, I, I need a raccoon costume. Because yes, I would. I, that would, the game is implying it. All right, we got the fiber root. Which is not at all what it looked like we picked up, but you know it's fine. It's fine. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Is that hostile? Are those bugs gonna attack me? Do you want to be the first person to find out? Nope. Oh, then don't zoom in. And if you don't want to be in No, I do want to be in first person. Oh. I wanna be in I don't wanna be in third person. I don't know why I keep getting into third person. You scroll wheel back. Oh, okay. Oh, is that what's happening? Okay. They're so- they're- they're cute! Hit F. Oh, I can scan things. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item can- wait. Each unique item scanned progress- progresses your survey data of the planet. Complete the survey data. Get sold for credits. Their temperament is wary. Temperament. Or their temperament, yes. Alright, well... Can I keep scanning them? The same ones? Or do I have to keep sp scanning different ones? They go to find new ones. Okay, let's go find some new trilobites. How many things can I scan? It is a live stream. I might recommend going after the pirate captain. Okay, fine. I will go after the pirate captain. I want to scan all the things. Can I pick this up? It's lead. Ooh. If I pull out my mining thing, though, can I actually... They seem fishing. Well, I am hope you enjoy my silly playthrough of this. It will, um, it'll be ridiculous. Can I, how was it? What was it to scan? There we go, F. And then E to scan. Scan that silver. I don't know if this is doing anything specifically, but I'm going to keep doing it. I want to get my survey data. What is that? Also, my robot friend behind me. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Yes, but I want to scan it. A Crete stalker, huh? All right. Hello, Crete stalker. Oh boy. All right. Well, it is unfriendly. And I'm out of- I'm out of ammo. Can I reload? Do I have more- I don't apparently have more ammo. Hold on. Let me, uh, just switch my inventory real quick. I am- Also, can I set- I have not actually seen- Compare equipment, inspect, sort, favorite. Okay. For right now, let's go ahead and we'll favorite one of these. Aha! Okay, let's do that there, and let's do that there, and let's do the cutter over here. I was gonna say, do you need any help with No, I figured I figured out um the enemy all right. out of our view. Okay. Thank you, robot friend. 
we will kill him. He's got like so little help. You're in third person. You're right, I am. I keep zooming out with my scroll wheel for some reason. I don't know why that's a habit from like another game. Alright, I killed it. I do wonder how many video games it actually screws you up in. I, I think it does a lot. Well, because in most video games, that's also how you cycle your inventory. Yes. Well, and that's why I think so I keep... So in most video games, you end up scroll wheeling when you panic. That would actually mean you drop your weapon. What the, the, So the reason it's throwing me off in here is because I'm so used to it being my scroll wheel for my weapons, I keep uh, scrolling to get to other weapons. To be fair, when we set this up on your computer, we can probably change that in the controls. Okay, yeah, because, like, honestly, that's the thing that's that's why I keep scrolling. It's because I keep wanting to switch weapons, and that's not my switch weapons. Uh, no, it's Bethesda style, I'm afraid. Yes, it has been a while since I've played a Bethesda game. All right, let's get to this um, research lab. Also, Scotty B is here. Hello, Scotty B. Welcome. Party in chat. Hello. A party in chat. Yeah. I'm going to keep scanning things. Though. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, I keep turning off and on my light. Scan. It is very particular about, like, whether or not it wants me to scan... <gasps> Have I surveyed this whole area? I harvested. Okay, we're just gonna go in. Enough dilly-dallying. We got loot and people to murder. Space murder! Maybe I'll talk to them. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually be able to talk to them. Doesn't seem likely, though. Look at how um, unpopulated this is. That's a funnel. That's a syringe. Nothing worth taking. Anything I can open over here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Those are just bottles. Never mind. Medical tray... All right, bunch of junk. Hey, Vasco. What does this do? All right, let's open that back up. And we'll keep looking around, see what we can find. Lots of styrofoam cups. Ooh, a succulent! I'm taking it. Oh, a tape measure. I need that for playing Warhammer. That looks like a thing I should be able to pick up. A bubble level for hanging all my photos and my starship before they get knocked over as we take off. Um, all right, steel container, surgical bowl. Ooh, ooh, is that something? Yes, something I can actually take from. Woohoo! Med pack. Thankfully, I've not actually taken that much damage, which I'm very impressed by. Because normally, I am prone to being stabbed in the face and shot also, typically in the face. Ah, okay, got it. I did see that little notice, but I wasn't sure if I, that meant I had completed everything or if that was just like... Like if I had surveyed the whole planet or if that was just an achievement. So it sounds like it's just an achievement. Thank you for clarifying. Ooh. Impact driver. Uh, that's ammo. Bottles. Anything interesting in here? Ooh. Omega, the last days. A cube. Ooh. Empty chunks. Wait, was that actually... Ah, uh, I think that was actually empty. Is it just junk? Misc? Okay, let's drop that. What's this circuit board from? I want my succulent and my tape measure, though. I need to be prepared to be able to play Warhammer. Is that 
That is nothing. Very well. Credits and sealant. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for the insight, buddy. I'm gonna take this book. The following is the opening of Camilla Flammering's 1894 work, Omega, The Last Days of the World, in which a comet is set to collide with Earth in the 25th century, and people must come to terms with the end of the world and what that actually means. I'm curious, is this actually a real book? Uh, let's see. Omega. The last days of the world. Holy shit, it is actually a real book. That's really cool. I'm taking it. All right, cool. I took that book. It'll go into my collection of books. Because I always end up having a collection of books in these games. Why do I feel like there is, like, smog or something coming in here? Does it look feel like it's getting hazy to you? Hmm. Let's check in for loot before we go upstairs. What's that? Nothing. <gasps> A heat leech. Oh my god, robot friend! You missed it completely. I adequately assisted you during combat. I mean, you scared the shit out of me with your lasers, but sure. Nutrient tissue. Why is the music gone crazy? All right, we found heat leeches. We need to be careful of the heat leeches, everybody. Also, thank you for subscribing, XS10TL. Welcome to the channel. <gasps> a molecule extractor. Is that actually a thing or is that just miscellaneous? It's totally miscellaneous. All right, well, never mind then. I was really excited for a second. I thought I may be able to extract molecules, but evidently not. <gasps> that red light scared the shit out of me. Workplace safety. Beautiful. That's adorable. There's gonna be a lot of soil boxes, I expect. Document tray, sample bottles. Okay, none of this seems valuable to me. Lockers, though. Lockers tend to have fun stuff. Like ammo, hell yeah. Clamping tool, which means apparently nothing. Genetic sample. Nope, okay. I saw- I thought I saw something- oh, it was that staple gun down there. Got it. What's a heart plus? Heart plus? Heart plus. Improves fortitude and pain tolerance. 20% health for two minutes, so it's a bigger health pack. Got it. I have a lot of health, but I haven't felt like I've needed it. Hello, Panda Gaming! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mercurion, so far I am actually very much enjoying the game. It's a little overwhelming, I'll admit. There's a lot happening. Um, and as somebody who doesn't play like games with space light and combat in it, that part was a little, <laughs> a little daunting. But the actual RPG element of it and just searching around and like being out on my own, I am digging it so far. All right, we're about to cross over into this threshold where we might engage with some enemies. So let's uh, reload. Let's see, if I go to... All right, that is loaded. Okay, I thought I put, did I not put my... One moment, folks, let me check my inventory.
I would like to favorite this. Oh, I accidentally put it on six. I see. I wanted it on two, actually, and I want my cutter on six. There we go. Okay. So if I go now here, I have 12, which is good. If I go to six, I now have my mining cutter, and here is my main gun that I've been using so far. Biohazard. You know, I was really expecting something to happen when I walked in here, but nothing. Fire extinguisher. No, no. Oh! Oh! Buddy, what happened to you? You look rough. You had 387 credits on you, though. The first several chapters of Lars Nilsson's work seems to focus, <laughs> focus primarily on digestive systems of alien herbivores. All right, well. So notepad, we don't care. Portable fan desk. Man, do you remember when fans boom pop black licorice? All right, I'll take it. Uh, do you guys remember when, like, you used to want to collect fans and Fallout because of all the screws that you could break them down into? Part of me wants to collect all the junk specifically for that reason, but I have not heard that there's, like, a scrapping mechanism or anything that actually does that and breaks stuff down for you, so... I am not going to be picking them all up. Also, what time is it? It is 12.46. Excellent. Alrighty, ooh. Does that seem like there's a whole lot in here of significant value? So let's keep going. Ooh, 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 yes. Thank you. I love how many excessive first aid packs there just are everywhere. Oh. gonna crouch since we're now hearing people I don't see them yet though turning off my light too just in case I don't know if they'll get triggered by it but they might friend you're freaking me out Okay, the pirates know I'm here. Robot friend. You're very loud. Could you crouch? Do you have a stealth mode? Do you not see me stealthing? Alright, well, he preemptively struck them. Curse you, pirates! I'm just gonna let my robot tank him. Hi! Goodbye! Alright. Got all their shit. Got it all. Alright, I think we're fine. They could have just joined me, become part of my crew. We could have been pirates together. Playing cards. I wonder if they're gonna make these since they're everywhere in this game. No problem, Scotty. Hope you and have a hope that you have a good day at work. It bothers me that every single fucking sandwich in this game is bitten. Why would I collect sandwiches? Like they made such a big deal about like a gold pyramid sculpture. I guess 280 isn't really that expensive, is it? Um, but yeah, they like, where am I? Ooh, what's over here? Wait, uh, before we go in there, let's go over here. We might find some milk in the bathroom. Awkward. 
Somebody was doing some research in here. Scraped up the wall. Real nice. There's an eyeball watching you shit. That's great. Just gonna close this door. Well, I don't want the toilet paper. Can I have my light, please? Thank you. All right, fancy. Hi, friend. All right, let's continue on our way. That's not good. It's never good when you have static on the TV. Did you just dismiss someone's toilet dairy? I did. I did. I uh, I actually took their toilet dairy. Took I took their toilet. Someone might need that. Well, not these pirates. They're, they're anti-lactose intolerant. They need milk to poop. There's a what's a terror morph? What is a terror morph? What is a terror morph? That will also help you poop. Oh. Oh no, leave it alone. Are you torturing it? We'll come back to all these rooms. Don't worry. I'm going to save this creature. Maybe I'll be able to befriend it and get an animal companion that's a terror beast. Okay, could you not just walk in there and start annihilating them? Let me get some shots in first. Got him. Oh my god, me and this robot make such a great team. I don't know why I picked that up. I have so many. Uh, here, I actually don't need that many. Um, I do not need five rescue axes. I would like to drop four of them, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, hello? Okay, apparently he's still here. Where are you? Aha! There you are. Where's my robot? Yeah, no, no kidding, buddy. Are you just like impervious to damage? Is that what it is? Hello? Someone shot at me. Aha. I'm using cover. Sneaky bastard. Maybe I should have gone with stealth. Where are you? That's a dead dude. Aha! Is that a thing I can do? Nope. but I'm taking it. Ooh, okay. Um I doubt the enemy will return. I got a weapon case here. Ooh. Okay, let's Oh, hello. Okay. The, you doubt the enemy will return and yet here they are. I believe the enemy is nearby. Thank you, friend. I hadn't realized. That was really stupid of you to just charge me in the face. Well, you only had a rescue ask, so ah, ass, a rescue ass, a rescue axe. So I guess it makes sense. All right, now that we've cleared this little section, let's go back over here because we actually didn't check these rooms at all. Hit P, it will allow you to level. You've received one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend the skill point to rank up the skill. So. For example, at character creation, you picked a background that gave you three skills unlocked at the beginning. Yep. Hit F so we can look at the screen, please. So you'll see under social, mm -hmm. you have scavenging as well as gastronomy. Mm -hmm. Scavenging, for example, if you cursor over it, you have looted 13 containers. 
Got it. When you have completed looting 13 containers, mm -hmm. there's a chance you'll find extra credits. When now, one thing I'm unclear of yeah. is whether or not when you spend the skill point, do you get that bonus? Or do you have to complete the challenge and that gets you the bonus? According to the text that was just on screen previously before we closed it, it said that you have to complete the challenge and then get the bonus. Fair enough. My one thought is maybe it gave you the challenge, or sorry, it gave you the bonus. Uh -huh. But then you had to complete the challenge to unlock the next tier. Oh, maybe. Because if you select scavenging, mm -hmm. you'll notice there are more tiers available. Got it. So I'm not sure when the rank bonus it occurs, when you complete the challenge or when you just unlock it. I know you have to complete the challenge to unlock the next level, though. I see. Okay. Uh, go over, actually, you had one you completed already. That one. So yeah, see, now because you have already done the um, scanning outside... Uh-huh. You have rank two available to put the point in. I see. And I don't know. I I think you actually get the bonus when you spend the point. Okay. And then you just gotta basically level it up to make tier three available. I see. And the way that this then works is if you want to say, looking at if we go back one screen, please. Oh yeah, sorry. If you want to go down to the blue tier of social. Yeah. Like this, this tier here. Yeah, here. you'll scroll over. You see, it's, you need to spend two more points in social. Got it. That means you either need to unlock two more of those abilities or put the points into the abilities you already have unlocked. Okay. And that's how you work your way down the tree. Understood. All right. Well, I'm going to... We're going to come back to this in just a second. I'm going to take a very brief break because I need to use the restroom. And then we'll be back and we'll level up a little bit. And we'll see what points we want to put into things. So we'll be back in just a moment.
Alrighty. We're back. I also fed the kitties because they were yowling. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we may want to train. Now, we already have our scanning, our surveying available. Let's see what else we got in science. So research methods. By skillfully employing both new and time-tested methods, a researcher may complete projects faster and even gain unexpected insights. That does sound nice. What's in technology? Targeting control, security, piloting, boost pack training. What does this actually do? I can now utilize the ship's thrusters. Do I not have access to that already? I guess not. I must not. All right, what's, what's in here? You can craft specialty food, drinks, and research additional recipes at the research lab. Complete the previous rank challenge to unlock. Create five foods or drink items. Okay. I actually think that I'm going to go with this because I feel like money is going to be important. And since I'm getting 2% of all of my credits to my parents... I feel like I should do this. I see. So I can't even do this until I've done this challenge. I gotcha. But because I have done this one, I can't. Can't. Okay, is that, is that, am I understanding this correctly? So because, because I've not, okay, so I cannot click on this. So I have to complete the challenges first. Oh, I keep fucking doing that. Um, all right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and level up surveying. Can't put anything into scavenging right now. That is correct because you haven't completed the challenge. challenge. But because you already have the first level in it. I see. I already have. This because that one. was part I... of your background and character. Creation. Understood. Okay. Oh. Okay. Because you did that to offset the parent thing already. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 So then, in this one, then I already have that, but I can get rank two. Yes, because you already completed rank one. Got it. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. And then add another level of AI, zoom. Yes. I guess just a broad suggestion yeah something for combat all right can i undo that or i think i already put it into it never mind yeah i think it, it just auto did it like i didn't get a confirmation option i just it just was like do it so i'm the next time i level i will put it into combat it's not like combat's much of the game no clearly not all right no that is a good plan though i will definitely put something into combat next time yeah because it didn't give me um How long ago would this have been? 108? We had just had this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see where this takes me real quick. I just wanna see something really fast. Okay, I will take this. These are United Colonies markings. Because I want to actually do put it into combat. That's the only reason I'm doing that little that little save scum. Alright, so let me just run back through this really fast. Grab all of our stuff. Good, good, good. Got that. I just need to keep looting containers, which is another one of my challenges. Excuse me. Robot friend, you're in my way. Empty chunks packaging. Okay, we don't want that. I do want this book. Thank you. I don't know why, but I like collecting the books a lot. Ollie, I hope that you end up getting your Starfield uh, gameplay in as soon as possible tomorrow once it's finished downloading. I am super enjoying it so far. This game is great. Like, I was really anticipating, like... A disaster I will be honest and I think by doing that I have set myself up for perfection because I'm, I'm enjoying this and I haven't really felt like I've got any bugs like much yet or anything like that which has been fantastic as well 
All right, just doing quick. Oh, I forget that that's not actually a thing. I just, it always looks like a thing. Uh, let's see, I don't need that and I don't need that. All right. I forget I can jump. Which is, whoop! I forgot about the leech. Oh, it came out of like a thing in the... You know, I don't actually think we looted over here because of that thing. So I'm glad we came back this direction. Coffee mug. Can I do anything with this? No. Red Rover, come over. Alright, well, fair enough. There was also, I thought, a computer I could use at some point. Was that over here? Or have I not gotten to that little area yet? I don't think I've gotten to that little area. Alright, let's go. Alright, I know there's pirates around here somewhere, so we're going to be a little careful, but not too careful. Nothing, nothing of value, nothing of value. Some ammo. Take it. Good, good, good. Nothing that we care about there. What's that? Cred stick? A dig pick? A digi pick? What's a digi pick? I don't know. Someone in chat tell me what a digi pick is. All right, we're getting back up to where our friends are. Still can't do anything with that biohazard. Oh, I can climb. Unexpected. Although I guess I should expect that. It's a, it is a Bethesda game. That's pretty common. Anything? Nope. Genetic sample. Ah, oh, here's our dead guy with our credits. Thank you. Good. Notepad, the fan that we talked about. Nothing over here to loot. Hold the digi pick. The digi pick? Have you locked? Have you opened the lock pick yet? Oh no, I have not. Is is that what it is? Yes. I didn't pick it. I actually didn't pick it up. Where uh, was where it? was it? Uh. I heard the word digi pick, and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna. Um, yeah, no, there were some somewhere over here. Sorry, it was in this room, and I need to find it again. All I... right, well, digi, digi picks are lock picks. Understood. Fuck, where was it? Eh, don't worry about it. You will find more. Okay, well, um, I know there was definitely some in here. <laughs> yes, when you get to the lock picking tutorial. Oh, I've heard, I've heard, actually, somebody in chat was talking about the lock picking tutorial a little bit, and said it was interesting it is the the main thing to remember and it'll be easier to explain when we can see a lock pick mm -hmm. is you'll be able to set things into position without committing them and ah. that's basically like you can put a part into a position then switch to a different part but if you switch back to the first one it will still be in the place you left it oh ah, okay that's cool that will make more sense when you can see it yes i imagine it will i did I? Did maybe I did pick them up? Regardless, you'll uh, you'll find lock crates at some point. Excellent. I don't know what it would be under. Oh my god! Please stop hitting that button. What would the? Would it be under? I'm trying to think where digi pins would be kept. Resources maybe. No, okay. I don't think I picked up. Purses! I don't remember where it was. And that's... Now that I know they're lockpicks, like, I really want them. Were they downstairs? It'd be under miscellaneous. Oh, I found them! Okay, there they are. Alright, got him, got him, got him. Perfect. 
Okay, robot friend, get out of my way. They were downstairs. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Hokum. All right. Caffeine! Ooh. Battery yeah. pack. Yeah, that's, uh, it's food. Ah. So it's a minor deal, but it also increases carry capacity for, like, a little bit. Nice. So good for fast travel. Great. Chicken, marsala, and stellar kebabs. Woo! Sounds delicious. One beer. One beer! That does not seem energy efficient. Warning. Enemy activity detected. You know, they're labeled as pirates, but you just ran into a, like, cafeteria with a machine gun. I did. Reload. Oh, oh, God. The kidney damage. What's an amp? Is that Drugs. a... Ah, okay. What is Grendel? Is Grendel that is the oh, submachine gun on his back. It's a miniature, um, it honestly kind of reminds me of a P90, but it takes a normal magazine. So it's just a very compact SMG. The Kraven is what you are, um, I think you're wielding a Kraven? Is it a Kraven or a Kraken? Or I may have just misread that. Kraken, I think. Oh what? no, it's a, it's a pistol. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's a pistol. Yeah, the one I'm running right now is the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom yeah. Okay. So the, the thing to keep in mind right now, you see rounds. That's your ammo count for that weapon. Got it. You're you're probably gonna run out on a few of them. So that makes sense. Unless I find more. All right. Good. 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 Clear this area. Let's just make it do a quick sweep of anything valuable. Where was that other pirate we killed? Toilet paper. Oh yeah, we gotta get our we gotta get our toilet milk. And our antibiotics, of course. It's stressful that it was in a bathroom where we found those antibiotics. Alright, we don't need that rescue axe. Uh full food spice worm spiced worms. Ew, gross. I'll eat them. Sparkling water. I don't know how much of like a survival thing is gonna be here, but because I have the gastronomy, I wanna cook everything. So I'm going to assume I'll need sparkling water for cooking as much as I will need for filling up my belly so that I'm no longer hurting. I think I backtracked. Although, <laughs> some more spiced worm. Two barbecue wraps, BP orange. Somebody's delicious meal. Did I? Oh, I got a cola! Yay! I absolutely destroyed that box. Take that box! Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, I think they're watching, like, a replay. Alright, here's a computer. What is all this? New beginnings. Hayden Wynn, personal journal, January 13th, 2306. I can't believe it, I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through... 
at Mast, but it's long overdue and I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My office title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician and I ship out in three days. Amanda is upset, but I re assured her I'll have plenty of leave and we'll be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm not sure when I'm going, definitely somewhere in the United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Candidate one. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appears to be an alien from Lekog Venusta? Essentially a giant spider. Um, Michel's son is in full protective gear, attempted to attach a neural control interface and CI. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from a cocoon. Oh no! We had no choice but to cut uh, to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colony Marines is scheduled to deliver the next creature Thursday. Okay, we've got an Ashta this time. They're a terrifying beast, and it's a natural predator. It's native to Alkaline in the Cheyenne system, or Al Alkia. Aquila, 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 maybe. Um, the capital of Freestar Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question: Have the Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Trial failure. Um, the Freestar Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta and completely. Have been completely dispelled. Ooh. We determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to the secretization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Free Star Collective. All right, we've got another one coming in. Uh, more disappointment. Another creature, another failure. Not the fault that you see ground pounders. We want a predator, and they delivered. These things were so called alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding to designate, opted for Reptan Venomum. Are they venomous reptiles? Seems that way. What's this one? New species. Anthropods. Giant space lobster. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, that is hilarious. And then relocation. I'm moving, packing up shop and transitioning to another operation. I'm s it happened so fast. My head is spinning. So they seem like they kind of abandoned this place. Okay. Get our loot. Some desk assistant, some tissues. We don't need that. Pencil case. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bummer. Oh. Desk sphere toy. There's a meeting at 645. Let's make sure that we all don't miss our meeting. <gasps> We're going in. Fill in all open slots to every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. What? I just want you to know. Yeah. This was cuddle time. Oh, I'm so sorry. You interrupted. I'm so sorry. That okay, so see how you can rotate those around using the WASDA? I do. Okay, so you have to use those four combinations of digitakes, putting the cat down. Okay. To fill in the holes. But the thing I want to highlight to you. Yeah. Is that, and if you end up at the end with, say, any of these blocked. Mm-hmm. 
It will not open, and that will be a failed lock pick. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, you might notice, rotate it the other way. Okay, that too. Cool. Keep going. Keep going. Go all the way, all the way, all the way. But see how there's like, keep going, keep going. See how there's like positions that are very close? Yes. Sometimes you'll find the mm -hmm. first pool uh -huh. might actually fit two locations. Understood. So what you have to do then is look at what other picks you have available. Understood. Because what happens is, stop moving it. Yep. Select the next digi pick with the mouse. Okay. You see, you can then rotate that one around. Mm-hmm. And then go back to the first one. It's still in the same place you left it. I see. Okay. So you can do that to sort because what I think it wants you to do is that and then number three. Yeah, to be like that. Yes. Do these need to be anywhere? They will then unlock the middle ring. I see. So you can actually preemptively sort of figure out where they need to be as well. Let's go over one more. I think it needs to be there. It could, or if you go over two. It could go there. Okay. So you want to then see where does the third one, the, the final one, actually line up. Keep going. So that's okay. where you'll want that so one. So that to one, be. that one, that one. So then this one will need to be over to this one. You see, that's why you want to be able to swap between I them see. before you dedicate yourself with any of them. Okay. And now do I hit E to start? Yes. Yep. So. Okay. Uh, then go to the, the third one. Right. There you go. Hit E. I see. And then you can just hit probably E and E, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay, that is that is clever. I do like that. Okay. Yeah, so but the, the main thing to keep in mind is when you rotate them, yeah. you don't have to dedicate them until okay, until I understand. You've lined up and figured out your moves. I understand. Okay, that's very cool. Ooh, and then there's a digipick right next to it. Oh my god, Solar Frontiers, what? There's a board game, I'm taking it. That was so cool, I did not expect to find a board game. Um, alright, notebooks, some darts, excellent. We've learned how to lockpick, beautiful. Are you- Oh, he was playing ball. I'm sorry that we can't- I can't throw that for you, friend. Did I already- loop that? I did. Alright, I've done all of that. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, this is where I came from. So let's go into the next room. Ooh, what's that? A blender base. Some chocolate. Alien bug paperweight. All right, everything looks good. Ooh. <gasps> Star locked another game. Holy shit, we're collecting all the games. A battle meal multi pack. I'll take it. A digi frame. Raisin cere brand cereal. Not my favorite flavor, but I'll eat it in a pinch. Is that a... What? Is that an egg? Is that a square egg in there? It kind of looks like a square egg. A dinner plate. Uh, your turn to do this is just dumbass. Well, no. I refuse. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Okay, I already have a Grundle, and I already have an Eon, so I don't think we need that. We have our tape measure for playing Warhammer, which, you know, I did say as a joke, but the fact that we're actually finding board games in the game is pretty fantastic, and now I'm like, yeah, no, justified. I want to be able to play War Warhammer. Oh, I can't open that one. Okay, fine. Go. Get that. Some frag grenades. Ooh, I missed that last time. All right, fire extinguisher. Uh, don't touch the animals. Wait. 
Got him. Alright, now that I've leveled up, we've gotten back to where I was. Yep. Alright, let's look at combat. Dueling, I don't think we're gonna do. Laser weapons, I'm not using right now. Pistol certification is a consideration, and I haven't found a shotgun yet. Let's go ahead and just go straight into ballistics. One of the other perks that I was looking at previously was going to have ballistics, so I think I'm leaning towards that. Also, hello, Sten. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, that's what I was thinking, too. All right, unlock the rank to the... Okay, what do I need to do? Got it. I see. So the first one is just you unlock it with a level point, and then you do the challenges to unlock the next ranks. That seems to be how it works. That makes sense. Kill 20 enemies with a ballistic weapon. Well, shit. That should be easy. Ooh, a hazmat suit. Let's take that. Have I already lost? I don't really feel like I have. I think you're full of shit. What? Yeah, I was right there, wasn't I? But I'm so sneaky. Although my companion does make me very obvious. Him clonking around. Is this? Oh, that's... Is that one of the lobster things? I don't know. I wish we could unleash it on them. Um, excuse you. Well... Got him. That one's dead. Okay, are you are you having a trouble, buddy? Can you not see him? Hi, Mr. Pirate. Can you come over here, please? I would like to shoot you. You are trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. <laughs> no, bud, you're not. You are technically not alive. Well, we've got a bunch of genetic samples that we can do absolutely nothing with. They killed a lot of scientists, didn't they? Oh, this guy died standing. Another computer we can deal with. Alright, we'll come back down and deal with the computer in a second. Goodbye! Thank you. You are annoying. I'm aware, buddy, but these pirates don't seem to care. Where did you go? Aha! I was low on ammo. I should have reloaded. Ah! You really are. Are you sassing me, Vosco? My god, I'll just eat something. It's fine. It's fine, Bosco. I'll just eat this, um, black licorice. Boom pop. And then I'll also have this cola. There we go. See? I'm feeling better already. Rescue axe. Medical tray. Genetic samples. Nothing important. Some... Is that a leech? Yeah, it's one of the heat leeches. Is that a bottle of nitroglycerin? Nitrogen solution. Okay. I feel like I could pick that up and toss it at somebody and maybe kill them. That pack. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, we don't need any of that. We don't need to sit down in the chair. Hmm. Food tray. Not important. Alright, I think we've cleared this little area.
We're very close to getting that other um, perk unlocked because we have almost looted 25 containers, I think. So I've been diligently searching for them. I want to like, I want to loot all the containers. I want to unlock this perk. Nothing seemingly in here. Aluminium. Fiber. Fiber. Antimicrobial sealant. All right, a lot of crafting materials suddenly. Oh, oh, because I can actually do something with this. Aha! Let's go ahead and make some bandages. Why not just make all of them? Okay, cool. I feel like that's all we can craft for right now. Vial, tissue, molecule extractor. All right. Aha! I knew there would be some more scientists around here somewhere. Utility headphone cap. All right, we'll pick one of those. We haven't got one of those yet. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get out of here, Vosh. Um, is this just a dead end? This is that little dead end area. There's a dude over here, which I did not loot. How dare I? How dare I? Where are they? Are they up? Oop, my health is low. Let me see. Let's go to inventory. Go to aid. And I have like a bazillion med packs. Heal pace. No, wait, where is my med packs? There they are. What button are you on? B. Ah, zero. Understood. All right, use the med pack. Where'd you go? There you go. Got him. Okay. Knocked him back. Oh! Alright. He's down. Where's the last dude? Where'd that last guy go? Pirate friend, where did you? Hello, pirate friend. For your center of mass. <laughs> Vasco, you're great. Thank you for aiming for his center of mass. All right, I think I have plenty of those. So let's loot now. Let's loot all of the shit. A levitating desk lamp? Holy hell, that's so cool. I want a levitating desk lamp. I wonder if, like... Ooh, toxin. Alright. That sounds dangerous and fun to play with. Um, I wonder how much we're gonna be... When we get to, like, the building section of the game, I wonder how much of that is gonna be crafting some of these junk items or just picking them up and bringing them back to your place with you. Because there's definitely stuff that I want to decorate with. Like, for sure. My house is going to have so many succulents in it, you have no idea. 
that unopenable box. Sometimes there's containers that look like they're openable, and then they're not. Oops, that's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit W. Nothing there, nothing there. Literally, oop. Also, I think there may have been a computer I missed. Back this way. Got that. Yes, this one over here. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh no, that's just a chair. Where was that other computer? Was it in this room? Hmm. The lore! I need the lore! It's not there. Aha! Here it is. Project Pet Shop. My staff and I just arrived this morning and I'm not surprised to find the facility is completely operational as usual. The United Colony is spared no expense. It's all exciting, inspirational, really knowing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. They found the anthropods. They finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division. The anthropods. Okay, so the anthropods are what they're using. Obedient pests. But they're also called stalkers. Alright, well, I look forward to having to fight stalkers later on, because I imagine that's going to be happening. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Alright, another week of training in Pot Shell. I'm com perfectly. I'm confident that they'll be ready to live test on the field. Okay. Interesting. So they've got them all ready. I don't know if that went well for them. <laughs> not gonna lie, I feel like considering the state of uh, some of these scientists, that may not have actually gone super, super well for them. Don't need that, don't need that. Alright, we can move past here now. I just want to get back to that... ...computer. Make sure to loot all the scientists. I don't like they have such gunk on them. Their their project must have backfired. This is why you shouldn't try to tame predators and turn them into your war machines. The joke it always goes badly. Hello? Ooh, more toxin. Alright, cool. I can't wait to do something with that later. That's unnerving. Nothing of importance in here, it seems. A kidney dish? Is that a- nope, that's not a corpse. That's a corpse. Kinda looks toxic in here. Not a single thing- did I already loot in here or something? Like, there's nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Take that sealant, because that's a craftable item. Or crafting item, rather. Alright, fine. I have plenty of that stuff. Okay, let's continue forward. Or I guess upward. I think we need to go up is actually where I'm going. Alright. Oh! That can't be good. We are out of half and half! How? Oh, that really can't be good. Thank you for your digi-picks. It was... the Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It 
kills Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Amazing. Okay, that one looks like it goes there. That one looks like it goes there. Maybe this one doesn't go here. Maybe it goes there? Because that goes there and there. That goes there and there. That, I'm convinced, goes there. So... Oh, but maybe... Maybe that's meant to be like that. And then this. Oh, I see we have two like that. Okay. Alright, so that one's there. That's our first one. And then this is... Okay, I think this is our first one. Let's do it. Okay. Now, I think this is where this goes. Because I believe... Where does this go? I think that has to go there. And then this... One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yes. I do think this is correct. Yes! Yes, we did it! Alright, and I got some shotgun shells. Alright, I don't have a shotgun yet, but I'll take it. Maybe I'll get one soon. Ooh. Deep space mining helmet. Are you- are you okay, Vasco? You're freaking out. Do I already have a deep space mining helmet? Oh, that's my tunnel pack. Where's my helmets? Oh, these are so cool. Uh, yes I do though. I don't think I looked at this computer yet. Terramore species. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. Oh, that sounds great. Um, it's a killing machine. Even better. Even better. That sounds just absolutely bloody fantastic. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see the NS NCI fitting... All right. They really, sh I feel like they should probably shouldn't be doing this. Vasco, you're in my way. I need to get into this room. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Oh, I absolutely have a disregard for personal property rights. Have you not seen the other two picks that I've locked? I mean, lo the... Sorry, I said that completely wrong. Have you not seen the other two uh, safes that I've unlocked with my picks? <gasps> oh, I'm out of... I'm completely out of ammo. Where did that thing go? Stupid little thing. All right, let's. You're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can't. 
can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. Where does this one fit? Because... Not there. Aha! Okay, right there, maybe? So those are, I think, my first two. That one, I think, goes in there. And then this one... Okay, I think we have it. Modified Kraken in Zero Wire. Alright, let's try this modified Kraken then. this to try and we'll continue on our way cheese and onion it's like the first like real ingredients that i feel like we found oh roof access okay that's where they said they were going so let's go up there next i think we got everything in here right i feel like it let's just let's just go let's just go we're dilly dallying dilly dally shilly shallying A science crate deep sturdy mining space helmet adaptive frame copper and ceiling okay i mean i'll i'll take all of that stuff that sounds great um all right vasco you ready going back outside oh hello keys out of his cold dead hands that's right i killed barrett so tell your pirate friends to back off oh no you see we weren't really after barrett we're after that ship every crimson fleet rook hears about the frontier that constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays the loot from a hundred planets that statement is partially correct the frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I believe I, I believe that completely. Kind of that robot to say. We're taking that ship. There's no treasure on my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make a successful choice. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance of it fails. All right, well. Oh. Um... I'm gonna just try, like, the basic to be like, no, they're not treasure hunters, they're... I am here to explain the systems. Excellent. 
At the bottom of the screen, you will see persuasion and mm. number of turns. Mm -hmm. You have three turns to earn four persuasion points. Each of these options is worth a number of persuasion points. Note the color. Yes. That indicates how difficult that is. The game, as far as I can tell, does not surface dice rolls or anything to us. So okay. you have three turns to basically try and score four points. So green is obviously the easiest, and I don't know. They might lead to easier options. I don't know. Interesting. So I'd go green first, maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to just, like, go big, just but I just... Just threaten them? I mean, just hell, like, if that's your deal, then, then go for it. No, I want, to, I want to try to, like, so far I'm playing this a little bit on the, like, well, I'm, I've am i been sort of thrust into this, but they don't seem like bad people so far, and they don't seem like treasure hunters specifically as much as they're explorers, because that's what they've said to me, so... Don't give me that. I know that ship is... Oh, he didn't even believe you. Ah. So you still rolled badly. Yes. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to trust, try your luck against me? So you got past a few. Well, you need four points to pass this. Well, let's try. You better make a decision or I'll make it for you. Is that really how you Apparently. I, enough out of you. I am not persuasive. Oh, I have no ammo for that shit. I have no ammo for that either. Shit. What guns do I have actual ammo for? Zero rounds. Zero rounds. All what? right. The Grendel then. All right. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> the robot with the flank. Right? Did he just... Did he throw his gun at me? A modified Grendel. He's got a fancy gun. Nice. Alright, let's loot the other people. We took care of these pirates. Drink pack whiskey. Hell yeah. Get some si sweet whiskey. Whoa, my jump. I forget I'm outside. Is this... Why does that look like it'll blow up? Med pack, hell yeah. Uh, zero for my meds. I'm healed up now. Good on me. Okay, just checking the rest of the environment. Make sure that we don't have anything before we leave. Ooh, what's that? Empty chunks package. All right, we don't want it. Low gravity, man. Low gravity. Alright, let's go up. What's up here? More stuff. You ran out of O2. Oh, god. I see. It's my stamina. You ran out of O2. Further exploration will cause CO2 to build up. So what happens if I just don't move for a moment? Also, I want to try... I actually got some better... I got a deep mining, a sturdy deep mining space helmet. Let's put that on. Is that better for us? All right, my suit is running out of protection. But I'm not, like, taking damage or anything. Oh, am I encumbered? Is that what's happened? I see. 
What can I drop for my misc? I don't want to drop that. I don't want to drop that. I can't drop my succulent or my tape measure. How else will I play my board games? Alright, well, let's get out of here. Um, How did I... It, it gave me a tip to get to my ship, and now I don't know what it was. What's the button to, what, to open up the fast travel? Uh, would be the fast travel. Ah. M. Return to my ship. You are carrying too much and cannot fast travel. Uh, How about we talk to your robot? Maybe he can help you. Oh my god, maybe he can carry robot. some- Robot! Robot friend! Where is your robot friend? There he is. You should speak to we him. We need to reach the Elven Centauri who will keep your items safe, Captain. Thank you. Hit Q. You. Now you are on your inventory. Hand him all the extra weapons and suits you're carrying. Excellent. I will do this because I am carrying too many axes. You have four maelstroms. You have four cutters. I don't know why I picked up so many cutters. All right, there we go. Uh, everything is good now. I should not be encumbered. Thank you for carrying my junk. You are sworn to carry my burdens. I wish he said that. I actually genuinely wish he said that, that he would, like, sworn to carry my burdens. All right, now let's actually fast travel. Yes. We're going back. No, I don't want to throw the robot, Thomas. I want him. We must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. <gasps> let's go to New Atlantis. This will all become second nature before too long. Thanks. You fast travel directly from the mission menu. Press tab. Okay, select the missions on the bottom. Missions, got it. Press R to automatically pilot a course to your next objective. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Excellent. Press R to automatically pilot your course to the next objective. Alpha Centauri. X to jump. It's weird to me that they have E be your like in interact, but then they have like X and one other button sometimes to like confirm things. Okay. Contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Thank you. Oh. Do I just... Thank you for the subscription FSP Skinner. Ah. Okay, so now I would like to set my landing target. Oh, I would like to scan it too. Please scan this planet. Tell me what resources it has. What is this? Chlorosalines, chlorine, argon, lead, and water. You'll want to scroll the, the map around. Turn the planet. There you go. Oh. And then you can select new, uh, then you can select the place to land. This looks so dramatic. It is. Uh, let's land there. All right. We'll land in New Atlantis, and then... Take a quick look around, but it's probably about time to... Yeah, I think I'm going to take a quick look around New Atlantis. Not going to do too much exploration, but I'm really enjoying this. We might come back with it tomorrow. It's either going to be working on the hobby, like on my tank tomorrow, or we're going to be playing more of this. I haven't fully decided, but I'm really, really enjoying it. All right, let's exit our ship. Let's get out of our ship and go wander around the city, because, like, dang! Um, or I'm just curious. I want to immediately look at my... Oh. Okay, so there's a lot here. There's a lot. Fascinating. 
This is where I was. Where was I before? Not in the system. Wow. Okay. Jesus. My goodness. All right. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Are you gonna finish? And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I'd like to view. Oh, I can view and modify. Let's see what ships you have for sale. Where did you say I could sell things? Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? Where can I go the to sell things? The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Okay, thank you. Besides that. Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. All right, I'll ask him about repairs and shit later because I don't think I need to. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Thank you, friend. Oh my God! Look how cool this is. Trade author. Oh. Let's see. What can I sell? I'm gonna do- I'll do that later. I don't need to sell things right now. Let's want- I want to wander around the city. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. I kind of smell it, but I don't smell anything yet. Um, no, yes. No, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. No, we got nice, Aquila clean. City. Oh, don't even get me started on this. They have so much dialogue. Aquila Holy shit! Perfect, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted. No questions asked. I'm kind of just waiting to see how long they go. Emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. All right. Wish that bartender at Viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. I will talk to the bartender. Bartender? Hello, bartender? I am here to solve your problems. I am a helpful space citizen. No. Hello? None of these things are stealable. Yes. In fact, it is, friend. Metal lead. Okay, well. Thanks, security.
This is really cool. Like, it's a big city. Can I... Yes! Yeah, it follows uh, Skyrim and Fallout rules. So everyone ignores your strange autistic main character insanities. Mm, dang it, I was really hoping. Oh wait, can I, I be on? Yes. <gasps> no, I cannot be on the lily pads. I was like, can I be a frog? <laughs> Maybe has a feet. You know? Oh my god, that'd be amazing! I get water walker and I can like suddenly jump from lily pad to lily pad like an amphibian. That sounds so not useful. It's super not, but it'd be really funny. Yep. So up that way are the businesses. The way the waypoint is pointing is actually the mass transit system because there are parts of this city. I saw that it was sending me to a train. This is crazy. How? Okay, let's go into one of these buildings. I want to see how big these things are. Oh, this is the bartender. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Hi. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Listen. You what? You just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You what? To stay as long as you want. Oh, hello, chat! Oh, yes, hello, Sergeant Haunted! Sorry, I did not see that. Hello, Sergeant Haunted, welcome to the stream! Um, business seems to be boot What's the word around town? Tell me about things. Sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. Oh! When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. I mean, I, I don't like know the place, so I can't House tell Varun, you. I mean... Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Mm-hmm. I could use a drink. Well. Oh. A classic highball made with whiskey and soda garnished with lemon, natural ingredients, when available. My god. Do I even... Terror Brew Classic. A nice medium roast coffee. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a screwdriver with an alien plant. I want one later. If I find one of those, business seems to be booming yep. for you. Spaceport traffic keeps me free. I've got something in the works that'll change. Ooh, a new drink. <gasps> I know how to cook. I am the That's perfect life. person for this quest. I have to give it a try. I love it. I guarantee. Only no. I can't make Why? Don't have the ingredients. No. With a holler to bring me some small samples. I'll find it. I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind oh. of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Oh. Got wind, I see. I see. Found it. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. <laughs> um. Very clever of you. I am. Your parents must be so proud. Are, really? Did you did you listen to her sass me? Finish the recipe. Hello. Just, I think it is. I need to get my hands. What on was that phone lady phone. doing behind her? Sounds like you might need a helping mm -hmm. hand. Some it's muscle, if you about. will. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis. Yep, yep, yep okay, that makes sense. I get you, sir. This is just one. Sir, friend, why are you behind the bar? Friend asking if maybe sir, that friend could possibly find a way to get her. Yes, I get it, lady. I'll find your fucking cargo. You, uh, I am. I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. God, you have. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. No hostages? Well, there goes my idea. Uh, do you have any information to go off of? Yeah, a few things, but no. The cargo is being held down. It's held at a space part in the security yeah, office. Security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why? Find a security, a security access card. Access card is none of my business, of course. 
I'm sure I'm better off. Alright, I'm gonna find a UC that, security access card. The ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking. No offense. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst, right? Yes. How do I get I'm you? Waiting? Obviously not expecting. All right, don't worry. I'll figure I'm something. I'm not worried. Wait, are you saying? Stop by anytime. You're All ready. right, we've got our first non-main quest. That's a, that's stealing. Okay, they don't make it obvious. That little red marker is what means it's stealing. Cause... Oh, no, I'm good. It's amazing what bosses and dogs can do. Uh, I mean, like these are fine. What's not already? I mean, those are food, so I guess that's not art. That looks fine. That's cool, kind of Loki-esque. What's over here? An elevator? A place where people spawn? I can travel around? <gasps> Whoa! This is beautiful. I'm impressed. I genuinely am. I really did go into Starfield with very low expectations. And I think because of that, they have exceeded my expectations pretty severely. And so far... I've not actually experienced that much, like, bugginess, which is the biggest thing that I was actually concerned about. I was really worried that this game was going to launch and be just, like, a mess in regards to people being able to get in and being able to stay logged in, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, it's actually been working really, really well, and I think this is a good place for us to go ahead and stop today. I will either come back and be playing more of this tomorrow, or we'll be working on the little panzer that I've been building up, or not building up, that I've been painting for the last couple of times that I've been streaming. <gasps> That's so cool that we get to see ships, like... Whoosh. Okay, that was rad. That was really, really cool. Um, but I'm really enjoying this, so we're either going to play this again tomorrow, or like I said, I'll be working on the pans or some more, one or the other. Both are going to be very enjoyable, and I hope you can join me in either of those situations. We will be back live streaming again at 11 a.m., so be expecting that. And because uh, I'm really enjoying that new start time and everything. Hopefully it's been working out for you guys. And in the meantime, I will see you all later. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Starfield with me, and... I hope you all have an exceptionally wonderful hobby night. Have a good night, everybody. See ya.